Well, hello there, friends, followers, amateur radio affectionados, people that can't sleep and want to hear my boring voice that will put them to sleep. Well, you're in luck. This might be a pretty boring video, or it might not be, depending on what your perspective is and your interests are. Anyway, this thing here is a Drake TR7, and yes, I tore it apart. <clears throat> Why did I tear it apart? Well, I wanted to fix the light bulb. There's the light bulb. That one's easy to get to. The light bulb for this uh, front little panel is not easy to get to. You've got to pull out the whole display board, and this is the display board here, which you got to get out. And we'll go through that, and then you got to take the sides of the case off, little protective covers on either side. Those come off the sides with a Phillips. And then these little guys are in the side here. Those come off on either side. And once those are off, this will tilt down. So you can gently try and unstick it from the bottom. And then it will tilt down. Don't tilt it down too much because it's still wired in, as you can see. But you can get some access now to uh, things in here you want to do. So why am I in here? Well, I thought I could lube the, the PTO, even though it is in good shape. Give it some synthetic oil, although this one's in really good shape. And there's a little Drake-type um, filter that goes behind, behind the lights. And this one, the whole window here, I can put my finger through here and hit the, uh, the dial. So... The little plastic window in here fell off and it fell into the bottom here somewhere a long time ago. So I want to try and pull that out, clean it, and glue it back in. And so for that, I probably gotta take the whole PTO out. And the front panel off. Not gonna be too fun. So otherwise, this one's easy. This meter, I want to take it out and put the uh, official Drake blue filter behind it to get rid of the one that's all worn out. That's trivial stuff, I know. More importantly, eventually, I want to adjust the 10 volts here and make sure all these pots are good. And I learned there's a pin diode here. Um, the pin diodes are behind the S-meter, as someone told me, They're behind the S-meter. And the two pin diodes, there's two of them right here. You can see the little black thing. It looks like a transistor. There's two of them. Those are pin diodes, so those are going to be checked, too. This thing's a little low and receive. And I guess while I'm in here, I can clean this uh, clean this rotary switch down here, which looks pretty dirty. And that's about it, so. Anyway, so you're probably like, okay, great, that's great. You took it apart. How did you do that? Okay, fine, let's go through that. So the hardest thing they say, the hardest thing that W was it, WB4FRN says, Bob, the Drake guru, he says, this board is hard to get out. And it, it's, it is, but it's not that bad. So... This little wire here goes through the board. And be careful about this wire, don't mess it up. But that goes through the board and it goes through this little hole right here. So anyway, you pull that wire off of, that little wire is seated in here. And you just gently pull it, it comes right out. And then you slip it out of this hole so it's detached from the board. There's also a gray wire on the board, and that goes right about here. So there's a pin right there. The pin is right here. And that's where the gray wire goes. It go, again, it goes right, right there, okay? Oops, wrong wire. It's a gray one. They're both gray, you say. Yes, they're both gray, but the little wire right there goes right there. All right, and so the hardest part is getting the board out. You probably got to make a hook. Do not pry this sucker with a screwdriver. You will definitely regret that. So I'm not going to put it back in to show you how to do it, but I'm going to lay it in there and show you what I did. So to get it out, it was sitting in here. It's plugged in by a plug here and here. If you look at the bottom of it. It's got a few plugs on it, right? And there's a large plug, a large plug there. It's got plugs all over. And there's a plug in the front here. So... There's a lot of friction with these plugs that you have to deal with, and 
you better do it gracefully. So to be graceful. So this thing was in here and there's also a bunch of plugs here that on the side, you want to label these. So this is labeled four, it goes right there. There's one labeled right there. So they go on like that. There's a plug on the side here, which I have all scrunched up, but it goes on the side there. There's a plug here too, which is underneath the board somewhere. Anyway, take this off first. Take this one off. Take these two guys off. And then take out one screw, which is right here. There's a little itty bitty screw there. A little slotted screw, take that screw out. Now, once all that is clear and free, and this wire is free, and this one's disconnected, you want to get a coat hanger, which is what I used, and fold it up into a hook. So I made a hook just like this. And I very carefully hooked it here and just pulled up on it until it sort of got loose. Then I pulled up here a little bit, very gently. So you keep kind of pulling it up until it's loose. And even then, it'll get tangled on a few things. So even though you think it's loose, it's not loose, make sure that wire's out. Of course, you had all these out in the first place, right? And make sure it doesn't get tangled on things. And it'll eventually come out. But you want to take the back out first. The front won't move because the front is tucked in here on the display board. So the, the, in the into the display right here. So the front is, is tucked in. You do not want to try to get the front out ever. You want to go from the back part and just lift the back out and lift out the board. It'll look at tangled, so make sure it's all free to go. That's about it. So if you want to service your PTO and your lights and take your panel off, it's, it's, it's a good idea to remove the display board. They say that is the hardest thing to remove in the radio. Maybe it is. I, I would think the final would be the nastiest thing, but who knows? So anyway, this radio basically receives, and I think it transmits to a bit. Um, the S meter's low. I just first of all wanted to get in here and see what's going on and put my little blue Drake filters in here and put some LED light bulbs in here to make it look nice. If it looks nice, it probably works, right? Okay, so I plan to get the meter out. The meter is um, bolted in by two bolts down here. Two screws at the bottom there. You can see the one there in the, in the corner, right, right down in there. Take those out. The meter will come out. Going to put a new filter in the meter. The VFO PTO, this thing will come out. It's got a screw here, screw here. One way down there. I'm not sure how I'm going to get it out, but I got to get it out because there's a little front window for it that I shouldn't be able to put my hand through here, but a little window fell off and it must be down there somewhere, so we gotta rescue the window. I, I, I thought maybe this front panel would come off up here, but maybe it's one piece of metal. Um, no, it's not, actually. But I don't wanna take it off, <laughs> so I'm not gonna take it off. All right, yeah, you can see there's a bit of a filter in this one. It's, it's not a bad blue color. I'm probably gonna put my own in there, though, that, that is more official. Okay, so that's about it for the Drake. How is this radio so far? I wish it had a notch filter on it. I probably prefer the 4 series over the 7 series. I, I don't know. It's a little obtuse to operate it. I would probably go for a 10 Tech Omni 6. I don't have my hands on that radio yet, but from looking at it on YouTube, it seems like the one for me. There's no mechanical band switch, and I really, there's a band switch right there. I really. I'm kind of getting turned off by these Drake wafer switches and the maintenance they have. I guess this one isn't the worst in the world, and they've done a good job of building it. And it only has, what, one, two, three wafers? Four, maybe? Four or three. Now it's got four wafers, so there is still a lot of physical activity on this switch, and the boards look delicate. So I'm not so sure I like that for longevity, but hey... It's what, a 40 year old radio or, or older? I guess it's made it this far. I like the 10 Tech, but it's all electronic switching. I like the fact that 10 Tech has a, uh, a rotary encoder instead of a manual BFL. But hey, I started off with Drake Family and 
I guess I gotta stay in the family for a while. So that's my uh, experience here. Here's the final cage in there. All the little goodies in there. I hear that's a nightmare to fix or blows up. I think mine still works. Some folks put in more exact potentiometers if they take these out. I, I don't know why they do, but I guess those go, those go bad. And the potentiometers in this thing are kind of sticky. When you turn them, they're kind of really sticky. I'm not sure I want to detox them though because I'm afraid I'll, I'll, um, I'll ruin them. So I guess I'm gonna leave them sticky. They don't have scratchiness or any kind of um, problem. So I'm gonna leave them sticky like that or silky. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this video of inside the uh, Drake TR7. It's an old radio. These guys were out, I think, in the mid 80s or something. Late 70s. So it's old tech, but there's no tubes in this thing at all. It's all solid state. So this gives you an overview of it and how to get the uh, display board out. Again, we'll go through the display board once again for you in case you were missing it or sleeping or you had to get on the phone or something. Um, let's see. So display board. You want to take off this connection here. First thing, take that off. Take this off. Take that off. And I think there's another one. Yeah, there's two of them here. That one there, one there. One there and one here. You want to get all these off, okay? There's one little screw holding it in, I think right there. Take that screw out. Now there's a wire coming through. Um, that pesky wire here. This wire goes through this hole here. Take that wire out. And this little gray wire, this connects it from over here. The same with this, um, I guess it's an IF wire. Take him off too, or her, or it. And then you want to get the hook again, the, uh, the hook for taking the bad actors off the stage. You're going to hook the guy by the neck. So you just take this thing and gently, gently, gently pull this thing off. You got big connector here, here, over there. You got a really huge one here. And you have the display numbers tucked into the front panel. So I don't know. I mean, you don't have to take the front panel off to get the display board out, but it might make it easier to take the front panel off first before you take that board out. And I took off the cover here, which made it easy to get my fingers in there. Not that I really needed to, but my first time getting out the display board, I didn't want to wreck anything. So I think I got it through. And now the last hazard here in Nevada is you don't want to put static ESD in this thing and break it with static from the uh, low humidity here and burn the board up. So lots of issues. Anyway, that's the uh, display board in all its glory. All the Motorola CMOS chips in it. Bless their hearts. All right. You don't want to blow stuff up at all because who knows you didn't find this stuff anymore. Who wants to be soldering in chips these days? All this stuff's probably in ASICs now. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Actually, it's all in a software-defined radio, right? Nobody uses this old hardware anymore, except me, people like me. Reminiscing. Thanks for watching. Yeah, this is my first solid-state radio, actually. Um, is it? Yeah, it is. This is the first solid-state amateur radio I've ever owned. Um, I had a Kenwood TS520. That was partially solid-state, but it had, it had two files, so... Okay, yeah, and here's the, uh, the the Drake maze here. So I have Drakes in various stages of, of repair. They're mostly fixed. And okay, yeah, this is my man cave, so it's not very neat, I know that, but the rest of the house is pretty neat. This, this part of the house is not very neat. And so, no apologies. Uh, I guess I should for my reputation get some shelves in here and make it look nice, right? But hey, it's a radio room, it's a man cave, it's an office. Yeah, believe it or not, it is an office. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Have a great day.